This video is brought to you by Jobber, but more on them later. Now half of the homeowners in North America are of retirement age and it's too risky to be climbing ladders and painting their own house. So this means they need people with basic skills and tools to help them maintain their property so they can relax. At least this has been in my experience and what I've learned with customers of a certain age. I've noticed a gap in the labor force and this means there's big opportunity for a lot of you out there. With examples like landscaping, power washing and, and painting, these skill sets pay very well and require small monetary investments in the very beginning. Painting is one of those skills you can start tomorrow with basic tools of brush and a bucket and I know painting a whole house it can be real intimidating at first so I suggest like start with the window trim or painting interior bedroom like just the walls you can market yourself as a handyman and you can charge anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars per hour on average in my area it's 130 dollars per hour for a handyman to come out imagine making 1200 dollars on a weekend now would this help you fight off the income in recession now I think so but if you're nervous about starting because you don't know how to send quotes or receive payments or track expenses well today's sponsor jobber is here to help and it's what I I use to do all that and more. It has great features. It keeps me organized. I'm able to take credit card payments and get paid on the spot once a job is done. Now, organization I found is key to growth, and I wish I would have started using Jobber earlier on to keep my small operation running smoother and grow faster. So thanks, Jobber, for the amazing software and for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to use Jobber for free, use my link below to save 10% off your first six months. And now let's get back to the video. Gig economy is booming with growth, not only for Uber drivers and dog walkers, but also for home service service workers like me and for handymen. There's plenty of training out there on YouTube and it's all free. So I see a lot of videos online, YouTube mainly, that's teaching people how to make money while you sleep or make easy money, copy and pasting. But there is more money than ever available for people out there that don't mind working with their hands and climbing ladders and doing physical work. So if that's somebody like you, let's do this. Think of a skill that you like to do, maybe you enjoy doing, say it's cleaning windows or let's say painting. Some areas even have a list online that you can go to that will list all of the projects that you could do on a house or a home without pulling a permit. So look through that list, find any of those things on there that you feel comfortable enough doing, and then decide. The next step would be to register your business. And in some states, you only gotta pay 60 bucks to register, and then you're off and running. My area, it's way more regulated, it's California. But a business license costs about 300 bucks and you're in business. And there's other ways to do it with an LLC, but for now, let's just go with the business license. A handyman for hire, pretty affordable to set this up. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna set up a website, even if it's a Facebook page or say like a Google listing or a Yelp listing. You need somewhere to post a before and after pictures and for people to leave reviews on your work. Now, getting those reviews, that's like the best way to get customers for free. That's free customer acquisition. Some more advice that I can give is take some of the money that you made or all of it in fact, in the very beginning and pay for some marketing. Business cards, company t-shirts are a good place to start. Then you can move on to paid ads. Business cards are really inexpensive and t-shirts like a walking billboard. Think of how many people you walk by each day and it also makes you look professional wearing some sort of uniform when you're on site. Next option, you're gonna have to get some insurance and well, this is easy to do. There's tons of sites online. I've heard Next is a good one. A big difference between now and the old days is that one would usually have to get formal training of some sort to be skilled in one trade or craft. They'd focus on one trade. But nowadays, there's a lot of different skill sets that don't require that formal training. For instance, with painting, you can hone in your skills on your own home or a friends and family and then take your newfound skills out into the field. By working for friends and family, you'll learn how to price by learning your production rates and also you'll get great before and after pictures that you could use as marketing aids to get your first paying customers. So once you check that list and you figure out what skill that you're deciding to go with, you wanna develop that skill and like I said earlier, use your friends and family, even if it means you gotta work for free. Just get those positive reviews up onto your website or your Google listing. Now this is not the get rich quick this is not get rich overnight this is not passive income this is not how to make money when, when, when you sleep now this is a long-term strategy to making thousands of extra dollars on the side working a couple Saturdays a month I like this model because I enjoy working on the internet as well as working with my hands when you're like me this is perfect remember the demand is huge because half of the money is held by an aging group of people who don't want to do this anymore so it might take a long time to get rich but this is a great way to battle inflation and take some pressure off your bank account maybe take a few more trips to the lake as well there's a bunch of resources linked below to help you guys get started no matter what you decide to do. So remember, anything's possible. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.